Uh, probably should open the show. Yeah, right. Where do you want to do that? Right here, right now, mate. I'll bait the high side, then you're going to be in it? Yeah, oh, yeah. All right, here <laughs> we you go. You open the door, I'm coming in. You want me to start? Yeah, I know. G'day and welcome to the show. Today we continue our episodes as we bust through the fourth wall and show you behind the scenes of what's up down under. Take it away, Danny. Nothing busts through the fourth wall bigger and better than bringing the director on at the top of the show. So why don't you join us as we show you what's, what's up, up down, down under. under. Oh, I thought that was yeah, 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 job yeah. Yeah. do mine, mate. Anyone. It's time to see the sled. This land of wonder It's time to go and see What's up down under oh. What's up down under Now for those of you playing along at home, here's a quick recap on what we're doing on this trip. We've grabbed a New Age Road Owl and hit the road ending up in Warburton. Like the majority of the country, our ability to travel this year has been severely hampered. So we've set up a camp on the Yarra and we're catching up with a few of the people that get this show to air every week. From a camp on the Yarra, I am using the power of technology to keep connected with the other side of the country. And I had no idea what I was doing, so I'll get a bit of help. The Quinn family spent a summer series with us and showcased how you can live permanently on the road with a very young family. 